Councillor Austin. I guess I will open up the discussion portion of, of this. Um, so when I look at the staff report, uh, I mean, we could have we could have voted on this really in August. There's not really anything new in it. It's the same as before, um, except for the work that was done is to build up the alternatives. But the basic conclusion is the same. Um, so for me, uh, there's nothing here to change my mind on this. Um, if I thought what we were setting out to do here with the nuisance bylaw would uh, actually reduce smoking, deal with uh, the nuisance factor, the litter, all of this, I would wholeheartedly support what we're doing. But I'm convinced it just won't. I think what we've signed up for here is the worst of all worlds. We have a ban that's not really a ban because we're going to turn around and designate all sorts of smoking areas. Um, each of these designated areas will be its own little miniature debate as to, well, is this the right place for this smoking area? Some people will want it near them. Some people will not want it near them. Um, we'll be limited by the smoke-free places, but where we put them, there, it's going to be, um, it's, going to, it's going to require some bureaucratic resources. And I'd be okay with that if I thought it was actually going to be worth it in the end, but ultimately, I don't think they're, they're going to be all that followed anyway. So we're going to, it's a ban that's not a, not a ban that's going to require a lot of time, effort, and resources. And then at the end of the day, it's not going to be particularly effective. I, what what I really think we should do is we should refocus the effort on cannabis, so that would be um, the alternatives uh, that are proposed in the report. Um, I know, like, the one piece that I, I would have been nice to have, I, I went and I gathered it up myself, um, is, you know, what are other places in Canada doing um, when faced with this question as to, well, what do we do about smoking and cannabis in a world of legalization? And Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, all three territories, Ontario, PEI, Saskatchewan, have all banned cannabis in public without touching the existing rules about smoking. So all of those provinces where you have your existing rules about smoking within a doorway, they've all separated cannabis from tobacco. It's Nova Scotia, Quebec, Alberta, and BC that didn't opt to ban cannabis in public, and so that leaves it on us and the municipalities in those provinces if we want to do something more. Uh, I like the model, uh, like I said, in the alternatives. Um, that's what Calgary opted to do when faced with this question, is they banned cannabis in their, on municipal property there. So that's the model that they've gone with. Um, there is nobody in the country, except for one tiny uh, suburban municipality in Montreal that has taken the cannabis legalization and said, you know what, what we need to do with this is we need to ban all, all smoking everywhere on public property. There's only the one. Um, sometimes when you're the first, it's because you're leading the way. Sometimes when you're the first, it's because you've had a boneheaded idea. And I'm, <laughs> I, I think we have overstepped and we're in the later category with something that is simply not practical. Uh, the health argument, uh, again, if I thought it actually would make a difference, I'd be on board with it. But I think this is fundamentally different than past um, past efforts we've made to curb smoking in public and restaurants and bars. because. That was actually enforceable. You go into a restaurant, there's nobody smoking there because you get thrown out. It doesn't happen anymore. Um, you step outside any building in the city and you will find people smoking outside the front door, even though in many places, like the example I gave in the, in the last couple of debates, uh, Portland Street, the lower half of Portland, technically is already non-smoking because everywhere you go, there's a doorway right there. Um, so I, you know, the health piece, I think this is symbolic. And you know what? I could even be on board with symbolism if it wasn't going with all the bureaucratic and battle that is going to go with these designated smoking areas. I might even be able to be talked into the symbolic health benefit of it. Um, the enforcement piece about throwing tobacco in with uh, cannabis for the sake of enforcement. You know, on this, I, I feel like we're we want it both ways. Uh, on one hand, we say, don't worry, poverty advocates, we're not really going to enforce this. But on the other hand, we also say, well, we need to throw tobacco in this because uh, when we enforce this, uh, we need to make sure the ticket's going to stick, um, which is a little bit odd. Um, I don't think it's, I don't feel the need to throw in, to make it easier for Mr. Traves and uh, our good legal staff to make this bylaw um, stand up in court. Um, when we're going to write maybe a dozen tickets, maybe 20 tickets, whatever the case may be, the enforcement piece to me is secondary. What we're really doing here is we're trying to set a community expectation. This is, it, it, this is the dog poo in the park situation, right? We're not going to catch many people. It's, going, it's setting an expectation. And if we're going to set an expectation, I'm okay with differentiating these two. 
Um, so I'm not going to move an amendment at this time because I want to hear the debate because there is two there is two possible alternatives here. Um, I personally favor the the Calgary model, uh, which is the alternative that would allow the exemption for the medical marijuana use um, so because you we we do have people in apartment buildings um, who are legally prescribed and potentially if we just uh, it's if, if there's not some consideration for them then they are left with nowhere to go. So I. I I like that alternative, but I could go with the other one if that was the will of council. So that was that is my two cents, and I'll leave it up to the debate now. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Adams.